the Food and Agriculture Ministry is leveraging on technology to fight fertilizer smuggling, having lost in excess of 120 million CDs to the illicit trade in 2017 and the 2018 planting seasons. The ministry is rolling out the biometric system of registering farmers and other measures to check smuggling of the produce. Director of Crop Services at the ministry, Seth Ose Akuto, says 1.5 million farmers are being targeted this year. Fertilizer smuggling has over the years been the bane of large-scale plantation and production. For most farmers, lack of credit facilities to access fertilizers have been a disincentive to pursue agricultural production. The Ministry of Food and Agriculture is worried. Besides what we have already ruled out, which include the uh, branding of uh, fertilizers, restrictions of some areas where fertilizers have been restricted, including the surveillance, including our partners with the security agencies. We are also trying to rule out a system through biometric registration of our farmers, hoping that the farmers can be able to assess fertilizers biometrically. And if you succeed in doing that, we hope we will drastically reduce the smuggling. An $8 million fertilizer credit facility signed between Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body and BH Petagro is aimed at resolving association challenges faced by rice farmers. We are going to produce more, okay, because fertilizer is available, okay. Um, you can only meet your consumer's um, demand when you produce more. And this is an area that will help us do that. Hitherto, Farmers have had to deal with financial constraint in accessing fertilizers, resulting in overusage of farmlands, among others. Rice production is expected to witness an exponential growth in ensuing years owing to the partnership.